Welcome to a new edition of Two Year Olds in Training for the Harness Edge, and I'm Harold Howe here with Jack Darling at uh, Classic Lane Training Center. Jack, you've had uh, eight two year olds, but you've been away most of the winter, so you do things a little different than people. You now, George Zern has had a bunch of them for you at Hawkinsville. Uh, yeah, we've been traveling for the winter. George had five for me down in Hawkinsville, and then we had the other ones here for the winter. And they're just back? They're, they've just been back a few days, yeah. Well, let's take a look at them. We've got five we're going to look at, but uh, the one that easily has the best story so far is McEnroe Hall. Now, this is a Colt, 28,000 out of Lexington, by third straight. Now, nine-tenths of the population has no idea who third straight was or whatever. So tell us the story. I, I didn't know anything about him either, but it turns out uh, uh, Walnut Hall needed a, a sire. Uh, for Kentucky, for the Kentucky Sire Stakes. They went to uh, Indiana and bought this stud from the Amish, who'd been breeding a few a few uh, mares and had moderate success. But anyway, uh, the Kentucky Sires are going to be really short of uh, two-year-olds this year. So uh, I, I went to look at them because they're going for $200,000 final. And geez, I looked at this cold at Walnut Hall and I, I kind of fell in love with them and uh, I ended up buying them. What a masculine looking colt out there. He is. He's a really nice colt. Uh, George has been in 210 with him in Hawkinsville and he likes him. Okay. All right, let's look at a couple of the others. Moonward Hanover, a sports writer, and you've got a bunch of sports writers. 35,000 out of Harrisburg, and I know you've got some good thoughts about this bird. Yeah, I really like that colt. Uh, he's been here, and my son Justin has been training him all winter, and he's, he's just been really impressed with him. Uh, very smart colt, good gated, nice mouth to him. Just does everything right so far. I know overall you're impressed with the sports writers. You've got another one, Code One Hanover, and this is a filly, 75,000 you had to reach for in Lexington. Yeah, she's a really nice filly too. George has had her in, uh, in Hawkinsville, and he's just said nothing but nice things about her all winter. And uh, then we have Southwind Paris, another sports writer filly, 62,000 out of Lexington. Right, uh, George had her down there. She's been nice all the way along. She was a little bit behind because she got sick uh, earlier. Uh, but she's caught up, and uh, she, she's right up with the other filly. We both know these horses can easily make liars of you, but I know you're pretty much sold on Sports Rider as we sit in the first week of May. Uh, yeah, I mean, my my three three Sports Riders, I, I just love them. They've just, uh, they're, they're all kind of the same, good gated, uh, uh, smart, and it seems like everybody you talk to, all the other trainers, like their sports writers. So there's so many of them out there that are going so good that I, I feel confident he's going to be a good sire. So if, if he isn't, there'll be a massive wake. There will be, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. And uh, the last one we were looking at is Tailwind Hanover, an art major filly, 85,000 out of Lexington. Mm -hmm. Again, she's been down with George in Hawkinsville. Uh, she's, she's a big, beautiful filly. Uh, George said she just got better as we went along, and I think at the end he's been in 210 with her as well as the other ones, yeah. I just wanted to touch base on uh, your returning three-year-olds. Alibi Sealster. Now, probably last year was the best videotaping two-year-old we did. And she started out like gangbusters, and then the issues happened. I guess, what was your take on her season? Uh, well, you know, she had a decent season. She was a bit of a disappointment, but, you know, she's one of those, when she was training now, she's always on the muscle, on the, and she always looks always looks so good. Um, and like I say, that, that uh, she's a little bit hard to control, so that takes its toll. But this year she's come back uh, a lot better. She's very uh, uh, smarter and, and actually very kind with her mouth. And she, when she's relaxed, she should be a better filly this year. What do you think about the rest of the team, the other stable mates, including, uh, uh, I always mispronounce it, Nefreti? At Nefertiti, Hanover. Yeah, all my, I've got seven. Blue chip, sorry. So, yeah, I've got seven three-year-olds and they've all come back really well. I don't know if there's a real monster in the bunch, but they all look like they're going to be good money makers this year. Yeah, so there's something be, to be said for largely taking the winter off. Oh, I think so, yeah. I'm going to try it again next year. <laughs> yeah. Jack, good luck with things and thanks for sharing your thoughts. Yeah, thanks, Harold. Harold Howe with Jack Darling, two-year-olds in training.